Hey family and welcome back per usual black love like pride like power you have to know yourself to love yourself to love your people oh and uh, don't be mad be better um, with that being said if you have not checked out my other segments of my black panther reviews please do that um, I've got one on black are good versus bad uh, white people uh, Black Panther's character himself, T'Challa, Killmonger, uh, Diasporic Africans versus Continental Africans, Black Love Representation, Afro Spirituality, Killmonger's Death, and um, all of them have very valuable takeaways. So this next one, I think this is one of the most important videos. In fact, if you're watching this one now, great, but it's honestly one that you should probably watch first. Um, with that being said, we are just going to dive right in okay so propaganda you know a lot of people like to be like oh it's not that deep oh you're thinking too much or oh why can't you just like my sister told me oh why can't you just enjoy the movie are you making a big deal etc etc and that's because my people sometimes like the ability to think logically and critically and think in their best interest um, if we are going to be 100 about it we have to realize that number one Advertising, multimedia advertising is a multi-billion dollar industry. Multi-billion, what they be, dollar, multi, multi as in plural, as in more than one billion dollar industry, which means that ain't nobody going to put that much money into anything if they are not guaranteed the results that they are looking for. So you know what that means? That means every piece of advertising you see, whether it be on the television, whether it be in movies, TV shows, commercials, billboards, ads, marketing campaigns inside of stores, you know, everything down to the music that you listen to in grocery stores, all that shit. Someone got paid a lot of money to think that shit up. And people are still paying a lot of money to keep that shit going. So every single thing we see, especially if it's from the mainstream, is by design. Hey, it's by design. So think of it. Every single thing you see, especially if it's from the mainstream, is by design. Hey, hey, it's by design. From your Twitter hashtags that be trending. It's by design. From the stuff on your Instagram news feed, it's by design. From the stuff on your Facebook news feed too, that's by design too. It's all by design. Somebody getting paid to tell you lies. Somebody's getting paid to tell you lies. Somebody's getting paid to tell you lies. And it's worth multiple billions of dollars. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. Dollars is a multi-billion dollar industry they don't give a fuck about us they want to see us all resting dead in the dust hey they don't give a fuck about us they all see us all resting dead in the dust yes all of that was off the dome and hopefully that shit stick in your head so the next time you see an advertisement next time you see something pop up on your social media news feed next time you see a hashtag that's trending next time you turn on your tv and see some bullshit next time you look at an advertisement or a movie or whatever you realize that what i'm looking at has been tailored to trigger my subconscious a certain way and to alter my natural psychology and to keep it altered. Remember that. And if my little freestyle little jig or whatever can do that, then fucking great. Um, anyways, deeper into the propaganda. They had this movie had a worldwide premiere. It was premiered in King of First. The shit was premiered in King of First. And I'm like, if y'all shot some of this shit in Kenya, please tell me why all the fucking green screen, please. Because you don't got to fake the funk in King. Like, y'all could really get, pe like, the part where they had the war the the, um, the warrior battle or whatever uh, for the throne in the water. You guys could have just got some extras to stand up in those areas. Niggas out there in Africa climb shit like that all the time pose and stuff up there all the time. I do that shit. I be up in, in waterfalls on ledges and shit, climbing high, uh, climbing vertical and shit just to stand somewhere and, and meditate for a moment. So I know my continental brothers and sisters is down for, is down for it. You know, um, there was a lot of green screen and a lot of um, the camera moving 
way too much during action scenes when we could have had a little more focus and really got to enjoy the action. Um, but this is not a, a, a director criticism. This is a propaganda analysis. With that being said, the whole purpose of this movie was to do um, a couple of things. The first one is to create this huge wedge between continental and diasporic Africans. They wanted us to feel, black people in the diaspora, they wanted us to feel exactly how we felt at the end of that movie. They wanted us to feel for Killmonger, but they also wanted to affect our subconscious psychology of Killmonger um, being the bad guy and in the end he's got to die and you know he wasn't deserving of the throne this and the third they wanted us to completely fuck with Killmonger and um which r rightfully so but they also wanted to tar tarnish his character as well so that we have a negative self-image as well and then on top of that Killmonger's whole plight on behalf of diasporic African people left black people looking at continental Africans like what the fuck and that was incredibly genius and successful on how they did that they really are gonna have black people I won't be surprised if shit don't start popping off real soon between continental Africans and diasporic Africans you know beef again my parents would tell me shit like, oh, Africans don't fuck with us. we do body blue. And I'm like, no, they don't. All my friends are African. Fuck you mean. You know, but if I was like my parents and I, I never knew no better, I never knew no different. And all I saw was this movie, I would have grown up thinking the same thing. And I wouldn't have even been in the space to be able to even receive my continental African friends because I would be sitting there looking at these motherfuckers super sideways the whole goddamn election. And the other thing is... Because Marvel has always done an excellent job of making continental Africans seem like these noble, advanced, you know, they've always had a respect for continental Africans, but Marvel has always played niggas' lives. When it comes to diasporic Africans, when it comes to Luke Cage, when it comes to Fury, when it comes to the scrawny black dude and uh, who's Iron Man sidekick and shit, when it comes to black men in the States or in the diaspora, they always fuck us over. They always got us looking real left field with it. It's, it's It never fails. They have no problem tap dancing on the image of diasporic African people. But they've always reverenced and revered continental African people. And you can see that, that rhetoric, that European rhetoric and shit, all up and through Black Panther. Look at how they did the continental Africans. Look at how they portrayed us. We never got to see a contrast to Killmonger's character. We never got to see someone who thinks like me or, or who has a, a different story. All we get to, the only representation we get is shitty representation the whole goddamn election. And then that whole, that whole movie will have continental Africans looking at niggas the way they've been looking at niggas too. You know, we have this propaganda war playing, uh, this psychological subconscious warfare being played on us and it's been going on for a while and this movie just helped push it even stronger. It gave it a Superman push. It gave that shit a Super Saiyan Force type push um, over the black masses. Black masses. This shit had a worldwide premiere. This shit came out in Africa first. Any continental African who is not, who doesn't know shit about us over here and who is not thinking critically all the way or, or deep enough or, not, or being played by the propaganda and psychological warfare like intended, they'll watch that movie and they'll say, yeah, um, yeah, we can't fuck with niggas. We can't fuck with those black people over there. Look at them. Look at how he's acting. Look at his attitude. Look at his this, that, and the third. We can't fuck with them. You know, most continental Africans are going to look at that movie and they're going to identify with Wakanda. Um, especially the ones who are, who are more established and, you know, have uh, more westernized ideologies, lifestyles, this, that, and the third. They're going to look at that movie and they're going to side with Wakanda and be like, we can't fuck with y'all. Now, there is a huge African population um in Africa who are dealing with a lot of the same things that we're dealing with over here. Um, 
And there are a lot of continental Africans who do not see us the way that T'Challa and his immediate clan saw us, but they see us the way Nakia's character saw us. They see us the way um, Killmonger's character saw us. They see us the way um, Daniel Kaluuya's character saw us. Those continental African people, they're going to see that and they're going to have some self-reflecting as a unit to do. And hopefully they start calling more of their, their affluent and um, powerful brothers and sisters to be held accountable for not doing actively not doing anything to to aid their foreign brothers and sisters um let me drink some water damn i'm out i'll refill later uh but with that another thing um the other huge propaganda push that they made sure they threw in there was this whole good white people bad white people bullshit mythological bullshit they pushed that shit to the fullest. They gave you Klaus, and then they gave you the fucking CIA agent, and leave it to fucking crackers to make a CIA agent a good guy and some black shit. When the CIA and the FBI has been known to be specifically fucking niggas over the whole goddamn election. And how you not gonna catch that? The CIA agent is telling them, yeah, he's one of ours. Yeah, we made him. The CIA made Killmonger the way Killmonger is. But you open my cracker ass, open arms, and heal me, and, you know, leave me up in here, put me in your clothes and shit, get, let me control a little vibranium ship and shit, but the, the, but the, the monster I created, y'all automatically got knives at his neck. You know, they got Klaus being all obnoxious, having a mixtape. And who do body blue being obviously super evil and shit. And then they got this shitty ass CIA agent. And he's sitting there talking about playing good cop, black, bad cop with T'Challa and them. He's over there playing crack of good cop, bad cop with Klaus. You forget that the CIA was coming to buy that shit from Klaus. Crackers know when to work together. And you know what was going to happen if the CIA got them hands on that weapon? They would go and send these niggas to Africa like they've been doing in other... Um, now European countries like they've been doing and the CIA and the military, the US military and all that kind of shit will be over there killing niggas. Having their way with the fucking world with this technology. This CIA agent was a snake from the beginning of the whole goddamn election. He definitely was, but the movie didn't paint him that way. He didn't even get to die. When you have a black person in an all-white cast, the black person is normally the sacrificial lamb. He's normally the person giving his life to say everybody and all that other type of bullshit. And I'm tired of seeing that same trope happen in the Iron Man and Avengers films with um, black or Hawkeye or some shit like that. The, the, the nigga who wear the, the other Iron Man suit. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing these fucking black people being sacrificial lambs and all the white people shit. And then we finally get a movie full of some black people and they have to include white people. And then when they do, they have to include the good white person who was probably one of the seediest and shadiest of them at all. You knew what was up with Klaus. You don't know what the fuck is up with the fucking CIA of the fucking United States. Come on now. So then, um... So that was another one. They definitely were trying to pull the wool over black people's eyes like they do in everything. They did the same thing in the Nat Turner story. They had to make good white people in that too. They had to make the good white woman. The, uh, J. Cole does that shit all the time, but you got to remember his mom was white. So he's always going to try and, you know, make a little space for her ass to be saved if shit popped off tomorrow. But in the get off my dick video, everybody's like, oh, you're going to love that. I'm like, why the fuck do they have to sit there and pretend like there's really good white people out there like that? Because they're not. They're not. It's not factual. Um, We see that shit in 12 Years a Slave. We see that, we see that shit. We see this whole reoccurring narrative. We see it in The Help. We see this shit time and time and time and time again, where if it's some black shit or if it's some stuff about black people, they always try to make the good token white people. And it needs to stop. We need to stop falling for it. You hear me, black people? Stop falling for it. I've already broken it down to you. Like there is a psychological warfare going on towards us in the media. It's the number one tool and y'all keep falling for that shit time and time again. I tell any and every black person I know, you think you got a good non-black friend? 
You think you think you really got a non-black friend? Give me 10 minutes of conversation and I'll prove to you that that shit's a goddamn lie. Because it is. Let's tell you, sis. Let's, let's call it what it is. There, We don't have no allies. It is just us. And oh, also, burst of bubble buster. I mentioned this in my good versus bad white people Black Panther review. But I will mention it again in case you haven't caught it yet or may not catch it. Um, that CIA agent had his own self-interest in hand with the whole thing. He didn't want those weapons leaving Wakanda because Killmonger was giving those weapons to niggas. He was sending those weapons to people like me. People like the people I fuck with. People like uh, black people globally who are tired of sitting here fucking being oppressed and enslaved and abused and all that other type of shit. That's who the weapons were going to. So, of course, the CIA, which is the niggas we will ultimately end up attacking with these weapons, did not want us to have this weapon. So it was in his best interest to sit there and help the um, help T'Challa and them keep those weapons in Wakanda. You know, he wasn't doing that shit because he gave a fuck. He gave a fuck about himself. He gave a fuck about the white people. He gave a fuck about the U.S. government. He didn't give a fuck about the about Wakandans. He didn't give a fuck about keeping vibranium a secret. He didn't give a fuck about respecting these people's customs and wishes and shit. He ain't probably didn't even give too much of a fuck about the fact that these niggas saved his life. He's probably like, hey, if I do this, if I keep them from giving these weapons to the niggas, maybe if I get in their good graces, they'll give some weapons to me. So... It, that was uh, Woods T with that. Um, I heard through the grapevine that they cut out, you know, some lesbian romance scene or whatever. And I'm glad um, simply because we have this huge, just like the whole IR thing is a huge propaganda, psychological warfare being waged on African people. So is the LGBT rest of the letters in the alphabet type T's. Um, it's getting shoved down our throats involuntarily at every turn. Like it's one thing, like if that's what you do and you want to be able to see that and shit, okay, well then do that shit on your own time. But don't shove it down my throats. Don't shove it down my children's throats. Like we don't we don't have to eat that shit. We don't have to digest it. We don't. And if this movie would have thrown so and it's like this movie had enough bullshit of its own already in there, like throwing something like that in there, especially since we're in a time where black love and black procreation and black productivity and stuff needs to be at a it needs to be as high as we can get it simply because we're so in desperate need of black family structures and black households and you know shit like that we're in such desperate dire need from it and we're taking so many hits from moonlight to every other flag waving corner there is we needed this move <laughs> like i'm just glad that that is one type of bullshit they were able to leave out but you know the LGBTQ, um, there's so many letters now. I, I heard there's like 57 different sexual identities now or whatever the case, type C's. Um, Y'all can sit, leave black people stuff alone, please. It's for for European people, especially that's y'all culture. Y'all been doing that shit since you was pedophilic out the Caucasus Mountains and shit. That's cool and all, but please just stop putting it in black shit like I cannot take it anymore. Like, I can't watch black shit now. And it's like, I already can't watch black shit, but not especially can't. But I don't want to get too far into that because people, of course, will not be happy. But if you are a person of the LGBTQ, all the letters of the alphabet community, and you do claim to be pro-black, and you do claim to care about black people, black identity, black, all that kind of stuff, and you're genuine about it and you're not just caring about black your sexual identity um issues your your black sexual identity like if you're not if you really genuinely care about blackness like you claim to care about your sexual identity then you will understand what i'm saying and respect it versus throwing a tantrum about it because anything less than understanding from what i'm saying shows me just how in disingenuous you are about black people in the black community and i find that a lot of um uh, non cis gender sexual identity black people don't care about black people they care about black um, non cis gender sexual identity specifically 
and the rest of us can kind of fall to the wayside, which isn't genuine and it isn't isn't right. So um, don't be mad. Be better. If you're going to claim it, be genuine and don't get mad at me for spitting shit that you know is true if you genuinely care and shit. But this video is starting to go a little over um, than intended, but this one is probably one of the most important ones of all because I need black people, my continental and diasporic African people. I need you. I really need you to see through the bullshit for me on this one. Please, can we do that? Can y'all sit there and literally critically analyze and think deeper about all the shit being shoved in your face? You know, please, we have to realize if they are pushing this shit globally, if they are hyping and gassing this shit globally... And they're putting as much energy into it as they are. We have to know that these people have never had our best interests at heart. Their whole function is to keep us under their thumb and then to eliminate us if we are no longer useful. So please keep that in mind. Per usual, y'all, black love, black pride, black power. You have to know yourself to love yourself to love your people. And don't be mad. Be better. Peace.